Hi, I'm Robert Durish. I'm a sales engineer here at Contact. Today we're going to talk about some frequently asked questions we get about security cameras. What is the difference between a PTZ camera, a bullet camera, and a dome camera? A PTZ camera is a camera that is usually a larger camera that's mounted outdoors, um, usually of a higher resolution, and it can be manually uh, moved by an operator or moves along some preset tours that are programmed into the camera. These also can uh, have external heaters in them uh, for that outdoor environment. Um, and the price point is usually a lot higher due to these features. Bullet cameras are fixed cameras that are usually used around the perimeter of your location. These come in a variety of uh, camera lenses that are, can be wide angle or long range. Uh, because they're fixed cameras, they can have analytics on board the cameras or be plugged into an NVR that can run analytics on them. Um, they're usually in plain sight, so they act as a deterrent along the border of your location. They're also uh, mounted on camera mounts, so they're uh, easily movable. Dome cameras are known for their small form factor and discrete design, normally mounted in the ceiling of your facility with a dome polycarbonate cover, so you can point the lens in any direction. Um, with a wide angle lens to see all throughout your facility. These cameras are usually wide angles to cover large areas of your facility, not so much for fine detail, but for coverage. Um, and that polycarbonate lens also uh, saves the camera from any vandalism from your uh, patrons. Robert, what is the difference between optical and digital zoom? Optical zoom is a physical zoom of the camera lens so you're not losing any clarity um, from the picture. Whereas a digital zoom is actually uh, zooming in on the, the pixels and you're losing image clarity. Robert, what is a megapixel? One megapixel is a million pixels. So think of a pixel as a tiny square that holds a color of your image. So you take uh, a bunch of those little squares, kind of like pixel art, like Mario Brothers, and you put those pixels together to create an image. So if you have an eight megapixel camera, that's eight million pixels that create that image. So the higher the count of megapixels, usually the better the clarity of that image. What is the difference between thermal versus visible versus IR camera systems? So visible light cameras or conventional cameras can only see what the human eye can see. So these cameras rely on natural light or artificial light to see what, uh, what the human eye can see. IR cameras see light that is invisible to the naked eye. Limitations of IR cameras are that they have a short distance and they re rely on the reflectivity of the object they're looking at. Thermal cameras detect heat or thermal radiation that is emitted by all objects. They capture these differences in heat signatures and display them in a high contrast image. Thermal cameras work in complete darkness and are not affected by external factors such as glare, smoke, rain, snow, or other environmental factors. Thermal cameras are the optimal solution where you need coverage 24 seven or in harsh environments. All right, well that's it. These are some of the common questions we get. If you have any other questions, please feel free to email us at info at contactindustries.com or visit our website at contactindustries.com.